What's up guys, Matthew Monas here, and today we're reviewing the Huawei Matebook E, a successor to the original Huawei Matebook that came out last year. Before I get into the review, here is a quick message from our sponsor. For those that don't know, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you create your online presence. It doesn't matter if you're a store, a service, a YouTuber like myself, or run a blog. Their platform has award-winning templates, 24-7, 365 customer service to get you up and running in a short period of time. Also, with Squarespace, there are no plugins, no updates, no patches ever. I'm in the process of revamping my website using Squarespace, and I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. I think you'll like what I've got planned, so go ahead and make the next move for your own business or passion. Use my URL, squarespace.com slash monas, to get started today and save 10% on your first purchase. Link is in the description down below. The design of the Matebook E is super clean, very similar to last year's model, so you're not gonna see a big difference in terms of changes this year. You can get it in two colors, the color that I have right here, which is like a gray, then there's also a champagne version, which is a little bit more on the gold side. In terms of weight, it's very similar to the Surface Book or the Galaxy Book or even the HP Spectre X2. It weighs about 2.46 pounds or about 1,000 grams, so you can easily chuck it in your big purse or if you're a guy in your bag, and you're not really gonna feel it when it's in there either. Now, unfortunately, there's only one USB Type-C port. It's not Thunderbolt 3 so if you're that type of person who plans on hooking up an external GPU to this, it's not gonna happen. Which also means you're gonna have to carry some serious dongles with you, or at least one dongle that does everything. I would have loved to see at least two USB Type-C ports, this way it would have been in line with the Galaxy Book or the HP Spectre X2, or at least a regular USB Type 3.1 port or 3.0 port, so you can hook up some of your other peripherals. There's an audio jack on the left side, you have two speakers on the top, a volume rocker on the right with a fingerprint scanner to get you into your notebook a little bit quicker. Now, just like the competition, you can't upgrade the internals. So whatever one you decide to buy, make sure you're gonna be happy with it because you're pretty much stuck with it until you sell it sometime down the road. This is the base model, it sells for 799 US, comes with four gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabyte SSD. SSD speeds are good, around 550 read and about 350 write. The only unfortunate thing is that this model comes with a seventh gen processor, but it's the Core M3 version, what Intel is now calling the Y series. So lower TDP, which means not a high thermal output, but you get lower performance. So you're not gonna get the same dual cores that you would get in one of the upgraded Surface Pros or even the more expensive Galaxy Books. The display is probably the best feature of the Matebook E. It's 12 inches, the bezels are pretty thin, the colors are gorgeous, and I actually thought it was an AMOLED display when I first looked at it. But in fact, it's IPS with amazing color accuracy. I'm talking about over 100% sRGB and 83% Adobe RGB. This is higher than the Surface Pro. Now, it doesn't come with a pen, but Huawei does sell one if you want to buy that separately, but you do get the keyboard in the box. So above the display, we have an HD webcam. It looks like this. It's actually not bad. The colors are pretty precise, but then again, I am in some good lighting. Great for streaming, totally fine for video conferencing. Sound is coming from two speakers on the top. They sound good. They're clear. The highs are crisp. Now, unfortunately, there's no bass, and to be quite honest, you're not gonna get any bass from a two-in-one. The speakers are just too small. The important thing to look for is if the sound is clear enough that you can watch a movie comfortably in a fairly quiet room. If you want a lot of bass and you want loud sound, you're gonna have to hook up Bluetooth speakers or use headphones instead. Now, before I jump into the keyboard, I just wanna mention one thing that I forgot to mention earlier. This does not come with external storage, something the Surface Pro offers, and same with the Galaxy Book and even HP's X2 tablet. If you buy the 128 gigabyte model, you're probably gonna run out of space really, really fast. At least I know I would if I was using this thing on a daily basis. Sure, you can buy an external hard drive, but you got one port, so you're gonna have to always make sure you have a dongle on you. Number two, the keyboard. Much better than last year's model. Last year's model was a disaster. It was very janky. If you didn't have it connected properly, it would fall. It wasn't comfortable on your lap. This year, they made the back hinge a lot more stiff. So you can adjust it to pretty much any angle you want, all the way to flat on the ground, and it just makes it a lot easier to use. The keyboard itself has been improved. Last year, the keys were much too close, making it hard to type. They spaced them out so it's a lot more comfortable. 1.3 millimeters of travel distance with a good click to it. 
There is two levels of backlighting, so you can see in the dark, and there's even a dedicated key to bring up the MateBook software. Touchpad, unfortunately, is not the greatest. I found the accuracy to be a little bit off. I personally wouldn't like using this on a daily basis. I'd probably wanna connect an external mouse or a wireless external mouse to avoid using the trackpad. It's not terrible, it's just something you don't wanna use for a long period of time. Performance is probably the weakest link of the MateBook E. It's using the Y series processor, so think of the Core M naming scheme from the year before, which means you have slower clocked cores and lower thermal output, which means you're not gonna get that speed that you get from the more expensive Surface Pros or the more expensive Galaxy Books. Now this thing is fine for like browsing the web, watching movies, doing simple work and stuff like that. Like you're not gonna be doing hardcore Photoshop on this, you're not gonna be playing games with this, and you're not gonna be doing anything super duper demanding. If you're doing very basic stuff, it's totally fine. Which brings me into heat. And overall it does a great job because this is fanless and because it's using the slower clocked cores and that produce less heat, you're not gonna have any overheating issues. It never thermal throttled. The surface temperatures only got up to about 40 to 41 degrees Celsius, which is really good. Battery life is also pretty good on this two in one. Last year it was a big problem. I was only getting like five hours of use before needing to charge. Now I'm getting about eight to eight and a half hours before I need it to plug in. So they've definitely improved that experience. So here are my closing thoughts. The Huawei MateBook E is a gorgeous two-in-one device. It's light, it's portable, has a fantastic screen, they've improved the keyboard, it doesn't overheat anymore, and it has pretty good battery life. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the pen, and I know a lot of you out there are gonna argue that neither does the Surface Pro, but I think if you wanna compete in this category, you really have to make yourself stand out. Unfortunately, it underperforms compared to the competition, and even though it has a lower price point, you're just missing a lot of that value that you can find in competing products. Now, I think this is a great second attempt, but you're better off going with something like the Galaxy Book or even the Surface Pro. So that wraps up my review of the MateBook E. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. If you love this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.